In this video, we'll be going through powers and roots, laws of indices, with a focus on standard form converting with Adam Maths Tutor. Here are the beginner questions. These are some of the easiest types of questions that you're likely to find on this topic. Standard form is useful for writing very big or very small numbers in a more convenient way. Any number can be written in standard form and they all follow the same rules. There's a few things you need to know about numbers in standard form. The front number uses the significant figures at the beginning of the number and has to be between 1 and 10. In this case 9 is between 1 and 10 and then we always multiply by 10 to the power of how far the decimal point has moved left or right. This will be positive for big numbers and negative for small numbers. So in this example you can see that the negative so in this example you can see that the decimal point has been shifted 1 2 3 places to end up with 9. So therefore this would be 9 times 10 to the power of 3. For the next one the first significant figure we have is 7 and that is the only significant figure. So we have 7 times 10 <coughs> to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But because this is a really small number we're actually dividing by those number of decimal places so it's actually going to be to the power of negative 7. We can do this in reverse and write these as ordinary numbers when in standard form. So the number at the front represents the significant figure that we need to use, which will be 2. And we can see that we're timesing by 10 to the power of 5, which means the decimal point has shifted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we can fill all of these gaps with zeros or placeholders. So the answer would be 200,000. For the next, the front number and significant figure is 6. This time I've started on the right hand side and given myself a little bit of space to work backwards because it's raised to the power of negative 5. So the decimal point would be after the 6 and would go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, fill all of the gaps with placeholders. But when we get back to the beginning, this needs to be left as 0 0.00006. On to the intermediate questions with a slight increase in difficulty. This time you can see the significant figures are 3 and 6. Remember this needs to be a number between 1 and 10. So we can write this as 3.6 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4. And this time we need to go in between the 3 and the 6 for 3.6. So raised to the power of 5. On the next example the significant figures are 2 and 9. So 2.9 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5. Writing these as ordinary numbers, using the front number 3.5, we can see that this is raised to the power of 3. So moving 1, 2, 3 times. Again, filling the jumps with zeros. In this example, you may want to rewrite the number without the decimal point in between the 3 and the 5. So the final answer would be 3,500. On the last example here we have 2.7 raised to the power of negative 4. So jumping backwards 1, 2, 3, 4. That means the new point would go here with 0 in front. And again rewriting this number we'd have 0 0.00027. <coughs> on to the advanced questions. These are some of the trickiest types of questions that you're likely to find on this topic. Firstly, we have the number written as 146.3 million. Write down what this number would look like as an ordinary number first. Now we can see the significant figures are 1463. Written as a number between 1 and 10, that would be 1.463. And shifting the decimal point until we get in between the 1 and the 4 would be raised to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1.463 times 10 to the power of 8. For the next example, our significant figures are 303 as a number between 1 and 10, 3.03 times 10 to the power of, and to end up with the decimal point in between the 3 and the 0, it would be shifted twice for a really small number, raised to the power of negative 2. Writing these as ordinary numbers, 845,000 is being raised to the power of negative 3. So this would shift the decimal point 1, 2, 3. So the final answer would just be 145. 
So the final answer, so the final answer would be 845. And lastly, 27 is being raised. And lastly, 27 is being multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 5. This time the decimal point would have started after the 7. So from here, we need to jump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's no need to rewrite this number as there's no confusion with where the decimal point would be. Before you go, have a look at the solutions provided for these two questions. It appears as though I've made some mistakes. Before you go, pause the video and have a look at the solutions that I provided for these questions. It appears as though I've made some mistakes. See if you can either tell me what they are or write some corrections in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you found that video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment. If you're struggling with maths or finding topics difficult, you can subscribe and turn on notifications to receive regular updates about new video tutorials. Don't forget to visit my website adammathstutor.com for a full searchable list of all topics with exams, questions and solutions. You can also visit me on social media using the handle at adammathstutor on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. All links in the description below.